Okie dokie. Well, good morning, everybody. And uh, today I thought I'd do something a little different here. Um, I uh, sometime last night I watched a I watched a video from a channel called Second Thought. Um, called America Stunted Political Spectrum. Um, those that have ever done the uh, taken the political compass test, um, they uh, it basically. Oh God, how did he put, how did he put it? But basically, it doesn't. It's it's a good place to start to know where you stand politically, but it's by no means accurate. <clears throat> but yeah, he he demonstrated a bunch of stuff on there that showed uh showed how go how uh, goofy and skewed it was. But um, one thing he did do towards the end of that video is he put up uh he actually put up links to uh two other tests. I'm just gonna do one. I'm only gonna do one of them. So. Because already, me taking these uh, tests, they act, they actually take me a while because I have to think a lot of stuff through before doing it. Now, I actually did do like the first four or five questions on this, and I figured, hmm, maybe I should make a video about this. So, that's what I'm going to do. And um, also, um, I am going to have some music in the background, and I'm very sorry if this offends people, or if this is offensive, but one... I'm starting to get a little groggy right now, so I'm so I'm looking for something to help keep me awake. Um, secondly, I streamed this music yesterday. I was expecting a good chunk of it to be muted due to copyright. None of it. All of it went through. Now, granted, this is on Twitch. I was streaming on Twitch, which, when it comes to copyrighted music, they're a lot more lenient. Whereas uh, YouTube is pretty anal. But so I'm kind of doing this at, doing this at high risk. You know, because this is going to be uploaded to YouTube. So, I want to see... I want to see if any of this actually does get copyrighted by YouTube. So, so this is going to be a video of me, you know, doing this, uh, this political test. And it's going to be an experiment. And I also remember... Um, I think it was uh, Emperor Lemon. He had a video on copyright. And he was saying something that a lot of times, if you, have to, if you want to play copyright-free music... Video game soundtracks are actually the way to go. Um, he's not 100% correct in this, but I want to—I just wanted to find out that if he was true in this case. So, so it's going to be both a test and an experiment. And like I said, I—I'm not—I'm not playing this music to piss people off or anything or trying to be a douchebag. But part of this, again, I'm starting to get a little groggy, so I think a nap's going to be in order here soon. And then um again I wanted to I want to find out that uh I want to find out if this is actually true. So so let me go ahead and get the music going. And then something else I have to do here. Okay, so but like I said, I guess I ding it's just a political quiz. Attempts to sign percentages for eight different political values. There's 70 questions to the test, so this might actually take a while, which is also one of the reasons why I went with the Doom soundtrack, because it lasts an hour and a half. I'm going to try to keep this to under an hour, but we'll we'll see. So, I guess let me go ahead and start. And one thing I am going to try to do, something I don't do, I don't do on all, all the other quizzes I've taken... Most of my opinions are either agree, neutral, or disagree. But very rarely do I take a really strong... Or very rarely do I um, take a strong... Or very rarely do I take a strong stance. So what I'm going to try to do this time is either neutral, strongly, strongly agree, or strongly disagree. Just try to keep it to those three. So, Question one. Oppression by a corporation is more of a concern than oppression by governments. Yes, I agree. Especially true in this day and age. It is necessary for the government to intervene in the economy to protect consumers. Um, yes, I totally agree with that. The freer the markets, the freer the people. Um, okay, uh, I gotta turn this down a bit from my end. Uh, the freer the markets, the freer the people. 
Um, at face value, yes. But in in today's day and age, um, markets are for the most part controlled by uh, by greedy, corrupt corporations. All right, let me let me let me rephrase that. They're being run by greed and corruption. So I'll go with neutral. It's better to mean better to maintain a balanced budget than ensure wealth for all of its citizens. Again, the ones that are the ones that are balancing the budget are the governments, which are basically are basically being controlled being controlled by a corporate or being controlled by a greedy, corrupt people. I'll just say that. Um, so in that, I disagree. Public, publicly funded research is more beneficial to the people than leaving it to the market. Um, in my 30 years of working in retail, um, just working for all kinds of different managers and for a super brief period of time, being a manager myself, the inmates can run the asylum. I mean, given the fact that we've all been on the receiving end of all the bullshit that managers and higher, you know, the higher powers that be have inflicted on us, we know what works and what doesn't, so... Publicly funded? Yes. Um, tariffs on international trade are important to encourage local production. I'm gonna say, at face value, no. Now, you, I mean, to me, a, to me, a tariff is like a, a trade-based equivalent of um, um, of a postage and, postage and handling. Yeah, like a fee for postage, like a delivery fee. That, that to me is uh, that to me is what a tariff is. Um, I would probably say uh, strongly agree. So, I'll go with that. Uh, from each according to his ability to each according to his needs. Now this year, I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a fan of this in and of itself. Yeah, I think this is probably one of the questions that prompted me to make a video about this. Because, um, you know, because the the situation we have today, I think it's like 5% of the population has 90% of the wealth. They, yeah, I would like them to loosen, you know, I would like them to loosen the, loosen the purse strings a little bit. And, you know, I'm basically for a redistribution of wealth. But they have to do it willingly. Think they will? Nope. Because uh, I'm also of the belief that uh, greed, to me, is a type of addiction. You know, just, you know, I've said this in other videos and whatnot. I think there are people are, you know, these kind of people are addicted to wealth the way I'm addicted to junk food. You, you can't just sit here and walk up and tell me, you need to stop eating that candy, Joe. That, that Joe stuff is bad for you. Oh, gee, thanks. You know. You know, you're going to have to put, you know. You're going to have to put up a better argument than, than, oh, you can quit at any time. You just have, you just lack the willpower. See, it's pretty obvious they don't know how addiction works. So, I'm of the belief that these, that the, that these, I don't want to say corporation, it's just such an overused word, but I'll have to use it here. I think the corporate, these wealthy corporation business people, they have the same problem. They're addicted to wealth. So, you can't just, you can't just sit here and, you can't help somebody kick their addiction by just outright taking away what they're addicted to. I mean, that, again, I went through that during during the period of time when I was trying to lose weight. Got it from 210 pounds to 140. Mo and most of it was from food denial. And then when I got around 440, I cracked and ended up going on a week-long junk food binge. Just chowing down on junk food like crazy. I was even eating at restaurants. Something I hadn't done in years. So... So, so, kind of, kind of getting back to this question. From this here, strongly disagree. Um, 
kind of an offshoot of the previous question. If the social programs, if it's, you know, donations and whatnot, it was optional, yes, I'm for it. But again, there's, there's that subtle implication that if you institute a social program, everybody's pay, you know, inc you know, everyone's paychecks are going to get yanked, you know. You know, your hard-earned money is going to be forcibly yanked from you in, you know, be, to be used in these social programs. So, on one end, I disagree. Because private charity, in my mind, is optional. You know, whatever you want to give, man, you know, I'll take whatever you can give. That's what this sounds like. Um, in this day and age, in this day and age, we got to go with the social programs. It, you know, again, 5% of the country has 90% of the wealth. You know, the rich have gotten filthy rich and the poor are filthy poor. So in this day and age, no, I'd be against it. So I'm just going to say unsure. Taxes should be increased on the rich. The rich need to be taxed, period. So, again, I'm not I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of just outright yanking the money from them. So, robbing the rich to give to the poor. Again, I'm I'm not a fan of doing this. But in this day and age, we kind of need. I mean, it, it's a crisis what we have. So yeah, so I'll go ahead and go with neutral. Inheritance is a legitimate form of wealth. At face value, I would actually agree with this, but a lot of times, because uh, rich people don't want their money to be fucked with by government or whoever or whoever else, they um they'll they'll set it up uh, they'll set it up so their kids inherit the money. That way, government can't touch it. So, again, in that, I disagree. So this is going to be another neutral. Yes. Strongly agree with this. Oh, let me back up. We the people know more. I, this kind of goes back to what I said some time ago. The inmates can run the asylum. Considering all the bullshit we've had to put up with, we know what doesn't work. And through that, we know what works. So, yes, I. we know what roads we need. We know, you know, we're the ones that actually drive to work every day. You know? You know, but I mean, I mean, on the other hand, too, yeah, the higher powers that be, they need basic utilities. So, and then publicly owned. I mean, I would, I mean, I mean, if you're a human being, you count. So, yeah, the higher powers that be would be a part of this, would be a part of the public. I wouldn't want to exclude them. But, so... I strongly agree with that. Government intervention is a threat to the economy? No, it is not. And again, and something else I've learned throughout my uh, years and years in working in retail, managers are human beings too. And I could, I could probably count on one hand the amount of managers that that I work for that actually got off on punishing their employees. And I've worked for many managers throughout the years. And there's, I, there's only like a very small handful of them that actually got off on, you know, being douchebags to the employees. Most every other employee, if they punish you, it's strictly business. So, so no, I don't, the government is corrupt, yes. But at face value, you, it's not a threat. Sometimes they got to step in, which they, sh they really should be anyway, but I mean, the... The greedy powers that be were actually smart enough to bribe them and, you know, pay them off, so. But, no. Whoop, back up. Those with a greater ability. Um. Okay, now, when it comes to healthcare, I would, for lack of a better phrase, since it's so damn overused, um, at, uh, 
Access to health care? I, 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 I totally forgot what I was going to say, but I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm going to strongly disagree with this. Everybody's basic human right. That's what it is. Yeah, that's it's a phrase that I often hear in political circles, basic human rights. Again, I agree with it, but it, it, you know, I don't. It's too cliche of a phrase, so it kind of lost its power. But yeah, I, healthcare is a basic human right. Everybody should receive good healthcare, not just the rich people. Quality education is a right of all people. Yes. The means of production should belong to the workers who use them. Yes. Again, we're the ones that are actually doing the work. We know more about what. We have a better job of how to do our jobs than those that don't do our jobs. So, yes. Um, I'm gonna say neutral. I know next to nothing about the United Nations. Um, yeah, so I just leave it at that. I no dog in the fight. At face value, yes, you need some kind of military. But um, in this day and age, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, lean, I'm pretty much gonna agree with people like Second Thought and others of, of their ilk. We don't need, we don't really need much of a military anymore. I mean, we've already pummeled pretty much the entire world to submission now. So we don't need all the nukes. We don't need all the armies now. So. I'm going to say strongly disagree because to me this day and age is taking pre is going to take precedence over this. I support them all, man. Um I think it's important for every nation to maintain their own national sovereignty. So I don't, I don't know what context they really mean by this. Are they talking about ours as our own country and fuck everybody else? Or do they mean every nation? So I don't understand the question neutral. Um, United World all of us under one single government strongly disagree again I don't I don't really like how that's worded because they're making it they're making us all like the United the United more like the United States world government is what it sounds like to me so we strongly disagree with that strongly agree let me back up again I said this a few questions ago we're the strongest country in the world. You know, we've beaten pretty much the entire planet into submission. What more do we need to do? And no one's going to come after us. So, so yeah, peaceful relations. Wars do not need to be justified. Um... Uh, I'm gonna strongly need disagree on that. Military spending is a waste of money. Now, again, at face value, this is actually this is not true. Again, you need some kind of military to protect yourself, some kind of defense. So considering how rampant it is these days, strongly agree. International aid is a waste of money. Um I think everybody should help each other. Again, especially in these times of crisis. You know, we really need, you know, we do really need to help each other out. But on the other hand, the way we've been doing international aid, oh, my all-time favorite book, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, um, it was set in, uh, set in China. It's about a bunch of kingdoms that are trying to unite the entire country. What military, what tactic that they would do? Um, let me, it, 
I gotta rack my brain a little bit. But, uh... But, uh, I would say, uh... Faction A would actually... They would... Oh, how, would, how do they do it? They would... They would plant spies. They would plant the equivalent of the CIA into Faction B. And they would, uh... They would try to incite a, rebe a rebellion. Try to incite a revolt. You know, just basically to cause total chaos in that particular particular faction and then what they would do is uh what they're trying to do is they would try to they would try to get that faction to ask for our help would ask for faction a's help but like i like i said a few moments ago this whole thing here is being orchestrated by faction a they would come they would come in they would jump in they would help them out but then actually what they would end up doing is they would end up taking over that faction they would end up um they would end up, you know, absorbing that faction into their own. It was basically it's an insidious plot. So, so again, on one end, international aid is important, but the way it, we as a country are doing it, um, I'll say, yeah, I'll strongly disagree. My nation is great. Strongly, anybody who's lived here for any amount of time is definitely going to strongly disagree with this. Uh, yes. Everyone should be on equal footing. I mean, hell, now that I think about it, I think this is how nuclear weapons were invented. I, I might be wrong, but I think I don't think we were the first. No, Manhattan Project. About, um, I'll need more information on that, but for right now, yeah. Everybody should be on an equal, on a level playing field research-wise. Strongly agree. Government should be accountable to the international community, especially ours. Strongly agree. Even when protesting an authoritarian government, violence is not acceptable. Um, strongly agree, and there's also a there's also a, a tactical for tactical reasons as well. You're, if you're if you're gonna say, let's say an extreme example, assassinate somebody, you know, as the the cause of all your problems, all you're gonna do is make a martyr out of them. You know. You know, and then everybody, you know. And then everybody else, that's just going to steal their resolve. And all it does is just, it causes tribalism. So it does more harm than good. So violence is not acceptable. Strongly agree. I strongly disagree. That, what, I think one of the reasons why religion gets such a bad rap, at least here in this country, is people try to impose their will on others. Spreading the word of God. So you're walking down the mall, all of a sudden two total strangers that you've never met in your life suddenly appear out of nowhere. Hi, what's your name? I'm Billy Bob. Hi, Billy Bob. Well, we're here with the internet. We're here with the National Church of Jesus Christ, and here's this pamphlet, and they, you know, they start proselytizing to you. Very annoying, you know. So strongly disagree. Um. At face value, yes. Um, law and order. But I, law and order, you know, law and order varies by different countries. We don't, you know, we don't have the same laws that other places do. But in gen, in general, at face value, yes. No, they don't. I could. I mean, granted, yeah, there's some ignorance. There's, you know, some, some ignorance in this country, but again, you know, we're on the receiving end. We're on the receiving end of the bullshit that government and the other powers that be put us through. No, we don't make poor decisions, especially now. So, strongly disagree. Yes. Um, kind of going out on a limb, but 
I think um euthanization should be a basic human right. But I mean, it it needs it needs to be. Again, I'm I'm really going off the top of my head on this. You know, it it you're kind of like you know writing a will and all that. You know, there should be a there should be a process involved. I mean, just outright grabbing a shotgun, blowing your head off, and not telling anybody about it. I mean that that should be illegal. So, but as far as this goes, yes, I'm totally totally in agreement in agreement with this. Acts of terrorism means we're fucking up for some reason. And I and again, back back to my um back to my manager analogy. I could count on one hand the amount of managers that actually got off on punishing employees. Kind of the same thing here with terrorism. It's not people committing acts of terror, there's a reason there's a pretty strong reason why they're doing it. They're not doing it just, you know, on a whim. They're not doing it just because they enjoy doing it. Something drove them to it. So. So, strongly disagree. Government surveillance. Um, at base value, I kind of agree with this. But. Yeah, I'm kind of debating on this. But, but yeah, you need with the intrusiveness that they're the way they're doing it these days no that I'm against but I think yeah you need you need you need this in some form just to keep people honest but there's there's probably other I mean I'll bet there's other ways of doing it without inducing paranoia on other people I mean, you don't need a big brother Maybe all you need is just a little sister. <laughs> sorry, sorry if that doesn't make any sense. But I'm just going to go ahead and say, in this day and age, we don't need it. Or I should say, the way, let me, let me, the way things are, it, oh, that, that's who it was, Edward Snowden. But yeah, I, but yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of tongue tied on this whole thing in case you hadn't noticed. So I'll go ahead and just put down neutral. The very existence of the state is a threat to our liberty. Strongly disagree. You need you need a government. You know, armies, cops, courts. You need that. So I strongly disagree with that. Um, I'm gonna say this is dead wrong. Considering all the immigrants that we're that we're getting, people immigrating from Mexico and you know Ireland and all that. I mean, they're coming to our country for a reason. So that's a whole lot of people that aren't siding with their own country. So all authority should be questioned. Strongly agree. A hierarchical state is best. I'm assuming they mean uh, federal, state, and local. Oh, I'm uh, I'm taking a, I'm gonna take a drink of uh, Arizona green tea. Hold on. So, strongly, uh, strongly disagree. It's whatever works best for you. I mean, the government should be of the people, by the people, for the people. I mean, hell, even the even the authoritarian kind of people say this. So yeah, I actually agree with this. The stronger the leadership, the better. Yes. Democracy is, is democracy is more than a decision making process. Yes. Um one of my all-time favorite books, Strong Towns. They, he can, he's, 
he kind of said the same thing. It's, um... Oh, God, what did he say? But local politics are very important. They're they're basically the foundation of federal politics. Something like that. Like I said, I, I don't remember the exact wording. But basically, maintaining a city, maintaining a country, it's... There's more, I mean, there's more to it than just, than just the government handling it. I mean, it's down to the people, too. It's down to the local level. So, so yes, I strongly agree with this. Environmental regulations are essential, um, in this, especially in this day and age with climate change, climate change, yes. But... I'm also thinking way back in the day, possibly before the Industrial Revolution, I think this kind of thing would have gone without saying. So yeah, you know, because you didn't have factories. You know, pollute back then, pollution probably didn't even exist. Or if they did, it was in a minute fraction, or a minute amount, wasn't even worth worrying about. But I think back then, environmental regulations was, I mean, wasn't a thing. So, but th in this day and age, oh, hell yeah. A better world, excuse me, a better world will come from, and you know what? Let me look at something here real quick. Okay, so the volume's correct. A better world will come from automate. Um... I'm going to say neutral. Automation is kind of a gray area. Kind of a hot topic. Kind of a gray area. But. Oh, it can most certainly come from science, better science and technology, though. But um, automation, as in having robots doing, doing the work of everybody, putting people out of. But, but yeah, I've heard of. Uh, I've heard a wide variety of different opinions on it. I'm of the belief that automation can be good. It can help speed things up. But with the way with the way we're implement with the way it's implemented, like especially in the, in the place I work for, Walmart, you know, it's like I'm one of those that just because you can doesn't mean you should. Like you know, they've uh, they're uh, we got these little handheld devices that we have to use. They're basically glorified cell phones. Actually, they slow us down. So, I'm going to say neutral. But all of this, it needs to be, uh, if, if we the people were the ones that were in charge of, of all this, because again, we know about, I mean, us people doing the jobs know about our jobs than those that don't know our jobs. So, so yeah, if we were a lot, if it came from us and not from the higher ups, then yeah. So I'm just gonna say neutral on this one. Um, I'm, I'm probably gonna say neutral on this one too. I mean, in, in schools, all options should be open. You know, I mean, even growing up as a kid, I think they actually did teach. I don't think they went in depth on it, but you know, like white supremacy. I I think I knew about that in some form ever when I was a little kid. I think they I think it was taught in schools. In what form, I don't remember. But yeah, everything should be open. Religious or traditional values, they should be uh educated in everything. You know, everything should be on the table. Whatever they want to learn. So but as far as, as far as the way it's implemented these days, uh, no. So it, it's kind of a gray area. I'll just go ahead and strongly agree. I, I don't know what they mean on here, kind of vague. I'll just say neutral on that. No, it should not. Strongly agree with this. But, um, 
Before I click strongly agree, something else that does need to be say, need, need to be said, excuse me. It, they should be taxed the way other institutions are taxed. They, you know, they, they shouldn't be treated any better or any worse than any other institution. I mean, they got to go by the same, they, they should go by the same tax rate as everyone else. So, you know, we shouldn't just be yanking 90% of their cop, you know, we yanking 90% of their coffers to help everybody, or anything like that. I mean, I'm not a church person, I'm not a religious person myself. So, whoever it is that's going to do the taxing, they need to be unbiased about this. So, assuming that, yes, I strongly agree. Yes, strongly agree. Yes, strongly agree with this. You, you can't just have it needs to be a worldwide effort you know because I'm I don't I don't have the facts in front of me um, so basically what I'm going by is hearsay but it isn't just we don't just have oil rigs just in this country you know we we're not we don't have factories just in this country alone we got factories all over the world you know pollution isn't just here in this country We've got, we're polluting pretty much the entire planet. So, yeah, in that context, everybody in the, everybody in the world needs to, needs to pitch in and help, not just us. So. Strongly disagree. Um, on one hand, I want to say this is generational. But yeah, I don't, even back, you know, no, I'm going to sound like an old person here. Back in my day, things were nearly as bad as they are these days. So, so, in that, I'm going to strongly disagree. Um, no, not a fan. Death by nostalgia. Again, we're, you're being too inflexible here. I think that was something else that Again, one of my favorite books, Strong Towns. He was saying, he's saying the same thing. You you can't be strict and you can't be strict and rigid. I mean, your cities are your cities consist of human beings, all with their own personalities, desires, likes, dislikes, and whatnot. So you can't be set in one particular system because people as a whole are so nebulous. So you got to be able to adapt. Yes. Yes, and and this is um and this is also one of the things too that uh why I think um the quote unquote greedy rich cocksuckers that um hang on, lost my train of thought. But it's it's it was something I said about their about their addiction. It's it's about pro same problem that uh, a lot of other addicts have, including myself. You're you're thinking you're when you're addicted to something, you become an opportunist. I'm like this with junk food. You know, normally I don't eat pizza, but hey, since uh, Walmart gave everybody's two free uh, two free uh, two free Jack's uh, Jack's pizzas, hell yeah, I'm swooping up on that. I don't normally eat pizza. I mean, not a fan of you know. I haven't really eating pizza in like God knows how long. Especially the cardboard variety. Ugh. But hey, they're handing it off for free. Hell yeah, I'm grabbing it. That shit's pretty bad. I mean, that shit's pretty bad for you. You know, and I think most other addicts are like that. You know, drug addicts, you know, I think Miles Davis said something about that too. Once you're addicted to heroin, that was his lifestyle. Getting the next fix. And I, you know, and it's like these, uh, these greedy wealthy people. It, they got the same problem too. They're addicts. They're not thinking in the long term. They're thinking profit. Where can I get, you know, where can I get that next huge profit from? You know, let's see how much more, let's see how, what I can do to get it, you know. Let's see if this politician over here can get me some more, get me another tax break here, you know, that, that kind of thing. They're, they're living from profit to profit. So, so yes, we need to think beyond the long term. Yes, 
reason by definition? You betcha. Um, and again, maintaining our culture. Our culture is kind of fucked up, especially nowadays. So, uh, strongly agree with that. Strongly agree. They early back up. I and I think comedian Doug Stanhope said the same thing too. I mean, you know, a lot of a lot of these cry, a lot of these drug-related crimes are victimless. They're just sitting at home getting high, and then they're gonna play on a PlayStation. Where's the harm? You know, but uh, one thing I do, I do kind of agree with. You know, my uh, my alternative to this, because yeah, lots of you know, numerous drunk driving accidents happen. So I'm, I might, yeah, my train of thoughts is on the on the verge of derailing here, but you know, if you. If you wanna, oh here, let me. I'll just say it all right. It should work like, you know, legalization and decriminalization should work like, like uh, construction work zones, fines double in work zones. So, if you, if you commit a, if you commit a moving violation in a work in a construction zone, you gotta pay double double those fines. Do the same thing with drugs too. If uh, if you. Tebow in another car. Um, and if you were, if you're drunk, or if you're, I'm trying not to say stoned, because if you're stoned, you're probably only going like 20, 30 miles an hour anyway. If you Tebow in another car, that's definitely their fault, man. All the time of the world to see this car coming, ah, burr, burr, you know, get out of the way. But, but you know, if if they were drunk, and you Tebow in a car. Whatever fines you have to pay, you got to pay double that. So that, so that could be a, I mean, so that could be an alternative to taxation of it. So, but otherwise, aside from that, yeah, just legalize everything. Same sex merit, obvious. Yes. Yes, and kind of what I said previously here. I'll bet a lot, of, and I'll bet a lot of these people. I think the DEA. I think that's the name of it. Drug Enforcement Administration, I think it's what it is. And I'll bet a lot of these uh, people who are anti-drug or who are who have to bust drugs, etc. I think deep down in the back of their minds, they they believe they say they probably they probably agree. You know. Burn out on their jobs, you know, they're probably feeling really bad, you know. Why are we busting these people? All they're doing is just sitting on the porch making no you know, you get the idea. But I get it. I bet a lot of drug enforcement people would agree with this as well. Same-sex marriage people. I think deep down, unless you're like a fundamentalist, I, mean, I think a lot of uh, a lot of people, like white supremacist people, for lack of a better, lack of a better phrase, I bet deep down in the back of their minds they they probably agree with it too. Agreed. Um, for the most part, part, I'll strongly, I'll strongly disagree. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and strongly disagree all, all right. If we accept migrants at all, it is important that they assimilate into our culture. Um, okay, I could, I could probably make a whole video on this, so I'll just go ahead and say neutral. Nope. I mean, unless there's, unless there's some real psychopaths out there, some real psychopathic women who go and get themselves pregnant just for the sole purpose of sticking a coat hanger inside them to try to stab that fetus. No. <laughs> Women like them are probably pretty rare, I imagine. So no, it shouldn't be prohibited. <laughs> uh... 
Um, gray area. This is probably one of those I could probably make a whole video on. But everyone, I mean, I, I read or heard somewhere that Switzerland um, is probably one of the most pacifistic nations or something like that because everybody over there is allowed to carry a gun. So on one end, you know, we have the right to bear arms here in this country. But you, like I said, I'd, I'd probably have to put in some more thought and research in this. So I'll just say neutral. I don't... I don't know what a single pair is. It, well, the music's still going. I don't know what single pair is. But as far as universal health care, yes. I, again, I hate using this phrase because it's so damn overused, but health care is a basic human right. So, strongly agree. <laughs> I remember George Carlin saying this. I don't understand why prostitution is illegal. I mean, selling is legal. Fucking is legal. Why is that selling fucking legal? So, yeah. I definitely agree with him on that. Um, strongly disagree. Again, whatever works for you. I mean, whatever works for you guys. Now, I'm a firm believer in progress. But when you add this to it, uh, yeah, strongly disagree. No. Dan strongly agree, I mean. No. Genetic modification I believe is I believe is what puts the processed into processed food. So so no. Uh strongly disagree on that one. Again, processed food is Probably one of the biggest reasons. Well, hang on. Hang on. Let me uh, let me take a drink here. But I mean, as obvious as it might sound, the the reason I think one of the probably the biggest reason why obesity is such a big problem in this country is um, it's the it's the it's not it's not the food that's doing it it's the it's the processed part of the processed food that's causing it you know and I'm most certainly not trying to oppose my will on anyone when I'm saying this but it it's the 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 best diet is probably the paleo diet it, it doesn't mean just I think I think veganism falls in this as well um I read a oh what was it the abolitionist guide to, to the veganism, I think it was called. I think they had said kind of the same thing, but it, you know, it it's just uh, it isn't just it isn't just, paleo isn't just meats, it meats, fruits, and vegetables. It's staying away from processed foods. In this day and age, that's next to impossible. So you kind of kind of have to loosen it up a bit to minimally processed. So, but again, you kind of get the idea. It, the, the fact that everybody is getting is mostly because of the processed part of the processed food, you know. Because, but again, anyway, anyway, I'll. Anyway, it's been about an hour. It seems, I just now saw this. Yeah. Oh. It's been 50 minutes now in this in this video. So, and I still have to do a. I still have to start working on my cast video as well. So I got to do that here here fairly soon so I'm going to try to cut this short but basically it's not just the food that's making us it's not so much the food that's making us fat it's the processed food that's making us fat so so I'm going to say strongly disagree on that um on one end they're coming to our country for a reason I mean they're not just 
they're not just coming here to be assholes or anything. They're not, they're not running us out of jobs just, you know, they're, you know, just for itself, you know. I mean, it's not, the immigrants themselves aren't the problem. It's, it's the, it's the greedy, addicted powers that be that are using them as cheap labor. More money for them. <laughs> Again, that's addiction talking. So, but on the other hand, too, we, we, we we've got to be able to take them. You know, we've got to be able to do something. If we do open our borders, you know, they, we got to be able. To, they should be taken care of. If we can't, then we're gonna have we we have to turn them away, send them somewhere else. But again, that that's that creates a problem right there. We might be their only option. So, I'm going to go ahead and say neutral on this. Government should be as concerned about foreigner. Um, on one end, like I said some time ago, we all need to start being, we need to start giving a shit about everybody. You know, we need to start caring about the people, you know, that don't live in the same country as we do. So, but at the same time, in this day and age, like I said some time ago too, you know, we have factor, we have mines and factories in every corner of the world. But I, you know, I'll just go ahead and, and for the sake of time, we need to worry about ourselves first. So, Strongly disagree. All people, regardless of factors. Yes, strongly agree. And I'll, I'll, and I'll bet all the uh, the naysayers deep down in the back of their minds, they'd agree as well. Strongly disagree. All right. So, well, here's the results. So we got. Okay, this this is throwing me off. I'm used to I'm used to socialist. As one thing I do like about this quiz, unlike whatever I try to I try to do a video on a on a medium article, I can highlight stuff without having like the little menu pop little pop up menu on top. It really helps. So, but I'm used to socialist being over here on the left and not on the right. So, but yeah, um, but one thing, uh, the YouTube channel Second Thought, I mean, I kind of have my own view on this as well, but, but as it would apply to this day and age, today's society, socialism isn't what you think. But, um, what I go by, I go by the uh, actual textbook dictionary definition of it. If you looked at that definition, it's not that great. It's when, um, it's when all of your, you know, the fruits of your labors are, um, what was it, are given over to a common cause. Whereas, uh, communism was, uh, all of the, the fruits of your labor are, uh, are subject to usage by the state. Socialism kind of works that way, too. All of your, um, again, all your fruits of your labor are, I'd, I really don't want to say this, but subject to seizure by society. That's that's the actual dictionary definition of it. If you go by that, not that, not the greatest system. I mean, and you, if you really, if you really want to talk semantics, or if you really want to go by dictionary definitions, capitalism actually really is the best. Really is the best system. It's the most conducive to freedom. But like I said, in today, I mean, in this day and age. The meetings are pretty much skewed. You know, I would also say that uh, we're not capitalist. We're a mixed economy with a lean towards plutocracy, government by the wealthy and oligarchy, uh, government by the elite. And considering 5% of the population is 90% of the wealth, I'd consider them the elite. So, I mean, that's what we have. Technically, technically, in my mind, that's what we have right now. Not capitalism. We have We have capitalism. Like... If you looked at the definition, um, individual or corporate, 
corporate people have capitalism. They got all the money in the fucking world. Yeah, they're free to do whatever they whatever they want with it. They got so damn much of it, they basically have the infinite funds cheap. So, but anyway, I'm kind of, again, I'm kind of rambling here. And I do have a cast video I have to make yet. So, um, yeah. Yes. But like I said, the socialism threw me off. And the political compass, socialism, is actually at the far left, not the far right. Internationalist? Yes. So. Um. Civil Axis, uh, Libertarian. And one thing I'm liking about this. I'm very glad that when I chose my answer is I chose them between neutral, strongly agree, and strongly disagree. Because, again, up until recently, I oftentimes just went with regular agree or disagree. You know, just mostly because I don't know, I might have done the I might have done the poll after work or I might have had other shit on my plate that I had to get taken care of. So And plus I think at that time too, I never knew about channels like Second Thought or channels uh channels call or channels like Do Not Eat O One. You know, people like them. I never knew about them at the time I was doing the political compass test. So, the more you know, you know. But yeah, li libertarian. And yeah, it, it's like I, it's like what I said towards the start of this video. Considering all the bullshit we the people have gone through, we could easily run this country. Because we already know what doesn't work. So through that, we know what works. I said that said that about my job too. There's not a whole lot of things that I'll, that a manager could do that we couldn't. The only thing that, uh, in all the jobs I've worked at, the only, the only goal that the, the only role that a manager has is just to be the whipping boy for the people above him, and to be a shoulder to cry on for the people under him. So, you know, so being a manager isn't always milk and honey. But anyway, um, societal axis, very progressive, yes. We need to change it, I'll bet a lot, and I'll bet a lot of people in, you know, even the politicians themselves, they say this too, but they got to pander to whoever's paying their bills, you know. And again, that's something else too. I mean, I mean, I mean even have managers say the same thing. They don't want to do what they do, but they have to. Otherwise, they get their own butts chewed. That's the culture I. That's the culture I live in. So, whenever I say, even the higher powers that be would agree with me, it, I'm not talking out. I, I'm not talking out my ass when I say that. You know, the higher ups have their own people that they have to answer to. The people at the very top don't give a shit about what's down at the bottom. So, but yeah, um, libertarian socialism. Okay, so I guess I can make a screenshot out of this then. In fact, I might actually do this. Here, let me print screen it. And then um, what I'll probably go ahead and do, I'm kind of risking this, but I'm going to go ahead and add this to my uh, Final Fantasy 14 blog. So, um, but otherwise, well, that's it. Um, I actually had a pretty good time making this video. Um, and, and but it's the hard part's not over because right after this, I have to start working on making my cast video. So, but otherwise, hey, especially if you made it, especially if you made it this far. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And off I go. Um, see you all next time, and take care.